the Hans Mini is a German designed uh, television. It's a um, portable television, has uh, an average battery life, you know, probably last a couple of hours. Good for those car trips around the mountains in Germany. Kids can't be thankful about their beautiful country. Can't they, Dad? No. Why aren't they looking at the mountains? Anyway, uh, it can be set to most television standards. Um, Australian, for example, um, will, uh, you know, you have to wait a while. We can't pick up Channel 9 on it. Neither can we pick up anything but SBS. Um, but Channel 9 won't tune in. It, it won't recognise Channel 9. You see there, we're getting picture in picture. Until the universe collapses, yes, we better not do that for too long. Uh, we've just been messing around with it until we're setting it right. Um, it also has a stand at the back. I don't know why it needs a stand if it's supposed to be a portable television. Um, it uh, has a uh, this button here for the menu. Just turn it around and I'll focus yeah. in on it. There's There's this button here, which is supposed to be like a menu scroller thingy. Uh, a lock and a power button at this side, which includes the battery on the side, and a plug-in for I don't know what. I think that's the antenna. Has the uh, channel sound and uh, input select, and also Dad's design. Dad's designed a um, bracket for it, so we can put it on the top of the camera there. Uh, because, you know, it's very hard to focus using the, uh, eye, eye patch viewer, you know, the eye hole and the main screen, simply because they're not large enough. Uh, also, as you could see, we're putting this in through an AV cord, or something. <laughs> and through there is the, you know, it's like some, it's like a cord bay, and I think, one of these two is that's the mic. And what is that? Headphones. Oh, yeah. Power. Power. Oh, that's the uh, pip for the power adapter. You know, when it runs out of power and you say, oh, great, now I have to charge it. I'll have to do that at home. Uh, other than that, it's German. German. And it came in a package. With a picture of a guy skiing on it. I can see it from here. Came with every sort of adapter except for Australian. So, oh yep, that's just past the antenna, which has this weird curly thing at the top. I think you'd probably call one of these a pigtail antenna. And a weird part at the end. Oh yep. Now the box. German. Handspray. It's a portable digital TV. Its contents. It came with the main body, which is this. The battery. A remote control. Somewhere. The antenna, which I showed you before. The AV in-out cable. A guideline. Base support. Power adapter. And antenna adapter which you can plug in a proper adapter, for example, our bunny ears one, for um, really watching television. Than that, it projects a picture of a guy skiing. Something we don't do in Australia. Something, we, something not everyone does. Unless you live in the mountains. In that case, you're very lucky. It was made by Handspray. Uh, it doesn't pick up H. It picks up HD channels. However, it doesn't support the video, but it does the sound. Uh, other than that, there's not too much more to say about it. And it works very nicely with a Canon XHA1 video camera. With the Letus 35 Extreme and Carl Zeiss, uh, 50 centimeter, uh, 50 mil, or 1.4 inch lens lens on it. Thank you, bud. And that's all.